Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paul from Scissors Paper Paul on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. Please make sure you're following me on all those socials. I share different inspiration, project files, etc., on all the different platforms. As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my content each and every week. But what am I excited to talk about today? I'm going to show you firsthand me opening up my brand new Cricut Maker 3, and I am so beyond excited. I've only seen photos of this. The color looks amazing. The machine is amazing. If you've seen the announcement today, you probably know lots about it. If you're new to my channel, type new in the comments as well. I want to get to meet you. But also, what's your favorite feature with the new machines? Are you going to be rushing out to buy them as soon as they're available? Again, let me know in the comments all of your thoughts. And if you've got any other questions, of course, I will get back to you straight away. I pretty much live on social media, so <laughs> it's probably, a, but you'll probably have to wait about a minute. Anyway, I'm not open this machine at all. All I've done is torn off the sticker so you can't see my home address. We're going to open it up together and we're going to set up the machine as well. And we're going to talk about some of the great new features uh, that are coming along with it. So let's get started. So here is the big box. <laughs> this one's a little bit heavier than the Explore Air 3. I'm going to get my true control knife and we're going to uh, pop the sucker open. So let's... Uh, Get the side first. Did you watch the announcement today? Again, what are your thoughts? Let me know. Are you as excited as I am? Are you thinking we're going to store all these machines? Because <laughs> I am as well. But it is so exciting. Cricket has listened to what we love so much about Cricket, and really, they've just made it better. Open up this sucker. All right, everything's shaking a bit. There we go. And I'll just give you the overhead. You can see a lot at this stage, but here is the machine. So I'm going to take it out of the big box and put it back on the counter, and we'll uh, we'll open it up together. So let's let me do that. <laughs> So definitely heavier. <laughs> um, I'm so excited for this color. <laughs> um, so just like the Explore, uh, so the original Cricut Maker, of course, cutting over 300 different materials. But what's also great is that all of your adaptive tools, uh, all of your existing blades uh, for the you know Explore machines as well, they're all going to fit your Cricut Maker. The one thing that I would suggest if you have a Maker and then you have the three as well, is get a rotary blade that is calibrated specifically for each machine. If you do share it across the different machines, you'll have to calibrate it each and every time because that's just one of the blades that needs to be calibrated. Now, all of the stunning features that have come with the Cricut Maker are included in this machine, but we can now cut up to two times faster with Cricut Smart Materials. Two times faster than fast mode on the existing Cricut Maker, which is incredible. And I'll be doing a video where I'm gonna race this machine against my Cricut Maker so we can see exactly how fast they can actually cut. Of course, we can now um, cut images with vinyl with the Smart Materials up to 3.6 meters or 12 feet and with iron on up to 1.2 meters or four feet. And that's incredible, not just so you can make really incredibly long, uh, intricate cuts, but because think of the bulk, like think if you're doing those holiday t-shirts, uh, you know, stickers for charity, or you're doing bulk um, pantry labels, whatever the case may be, no more swapping out the mat. The smart materials are matless. Of course you can cut with the mat, but with the smart materials, you don't need it, which is amazing. And I cannot wait to give that a try. All right, let's open up the box. Oh, something on the other side there. Very well packed, <laughs> nice and safe. Okie dokie. All right, so let's have a look at what we get in the box. So with the Cricut Maker 3, um, just like with the Explore machine as well, you actually get more materials than just 
uh, something to do a test cut. So you actually get bonus materials included in the box as well. Now, if you're wondering why, why it's called the Cricut Maker 3, look, pretty much we've bunny hopped with the Air 2 to the 3, removing the Air because they're all Bluetooth enabled now. And that just made sense for the Maker to follow suit, uh, given that it has those same cutting abilities and that same technology and so forth. So we've got our welcome kit, just like with the Explore Air 2. Inside, of course, it tells us how to get started. We've got our test cut material, which is the uh, Smart Vinyl with Cricut. Warranty information, full instructions, nice little manual there. You might want to, if you're bored one night, you might want to read all of that. So that comes standard with the machine. Put that aside. Again, more packaging here. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grab out the bonus materials. So again, just like with the Explore Air 3, we have these extra materials that we wouldn't normally get. And what's great about this is we can start crafting. So if you give this as a gift, the recipient, they don't need to go to the shops, they're good to go. We've got Smart Vinyl in black, which is a staple. We even have transfer tape included as well. We've got Smart Iron-On in black, staple in my craft room. And also what's coming is Smart Adhesive Cardstock. So we're getting that included in our pack as well. So that's already sticky on the other side. So you can cut out different shapes, embellish cards and all sorts of things. Really excited to have a play with uh, the coloured cardstock. So that's what you get as well in terms of materials. Lots and lots of materials. And then of course the machine is in here. So again, I'm going to pop this down on the floor. I'm going to pull the machine out and I'll pop it onto my desk. Give me a second. <laughs> here we go. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. She is a beauty and I'll tell you why I really am excited about this machine. I'm just going to get a couple of other things out of the box and then I'm going to tell you exactly why. Of course, power cord and also our USB adapter so that we can set the machine up in Cricut Design Space, which I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. Why I'm excited? I'll tell you why. Because yay, it's blue. It's this beautiful blue colour. And I just, I mean, I love my champagne maker, I'm not going to lie, it's a beautiful colour, but look at this machine. It is so pretty and I'll show you in the overhead as well. So we've got this gorgeous, almost silver top and this gorgeous, glossy blue maker. So unlike the Explorer 3, this is a glossy finish, not a matte finish. Out of that rubbish, make sure you can see that. And um, why I love it so much, check this out. Look at my ear, too. It's blue as well. Yay, matching. So excited. <laughs> All right, so here she is. Let's move out the cables and let's go back to the main camera. Um, so here she is, and of course, just like with the current maker we just open up the top this also has the um, different buttons unlike which again following on from sort of other technology that's in the market these days we've got a very universal on and off switch we've got the load unload button uh, we've got a play button here as well which means obviously to go and we've got the pause button they have the handy dandy um, tool holder as well so all your tools your m ms everything you need to craft all get stored in here and also the metallic blade holder so if you didn't know if there's a little metallic blade holder in here that's great if you have different blades for your vinyl your uh, paper crafts your iron-on you can just store those all there and then you can swap them out as you need it as I mentioned it's got the adaptive tool system all of your existing adaptive tools will work in this machine so we'll take our, our little protective thing there we will turn her on we'll get her some power I'm going to get my power cord so what do you think of the color how excited is me <laughs> I just just love her she's gonna be a her my joy's a boy so this one can be a 
her. So power cord. Now the power cords with your maker machine um, are not transferable. So there are different power requirements. So make sure with all of your machines that you keep your power cords specific to each machine. So I'm going to plug this into power. And of course in Australia, we're going to have an Australian plug. Then I'm going to take my USB adapter or my USB connector, which will go one end in the back of the Cricut Maker 3 and the other end will go into a USB port on your computer and that's how we're going to set up our machine. So here we go, one's a USB end and one is a like a square funny looking one. You can't muck them up, only one's going to go in each port. So first of all I'm going to connect it to the Maker in the back and then I'm just going to connect this to my computer. And let's jump over into Cricut Design Space and set this sucker up. So exciting. Okay. So going into Cricut Design Space, up the very top next to home, there's a hamburger menu with three lines. Click on that and then we're going to set up a new product. We have two options. One is for an easy press and one is for a cutting machine. We're setting up a cutting machine today. So that's what we're going to choose. And of course, we are setting up the Cricut Maker 3. So we're going to choose that as well. It's telling us that we need 10 inches or 25 centimeters room from the back of the machine to the wall. And that's really important when you are using the smart materials because you need to have room, particularly if you're doing those long cuts, for the vinyl to come out the back uh, and then obviously back through the machine and so forth. Um, so make sure you've got some room. You know, you can obviously let it go off the end of a table. Maybe you can put a, a laundry basket or something there to capture it. Um, but yeah, just making sure that we've got a little bit of space in between. Um, and then it's telling us to connect the machine, which we've done. We've put the power in, we've turned it on and oh, we haven't turned it on. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> And then it's going to look for the Maker 3 being connected by USB. So it's just firing up for the first time. Again, see all of these instructions are here in Design Space. You just cannot muck it up. So there we go. We're selecting the Maker 3 via USB. And once it's found that, it says gives us the option to continue, which we'll do. And it's updating, making sure it's got all the latest firmware and so forth. It gives us the option to click update, which we'll do. It's saying that it's up to date. Yay. And we'll click next. There's my email address. So nothing super sensitive. If you want to send me an email and say hi, by all means, you can do that. Um, that'll be your Cricut ID. Uh, accept the terms and conditions. And then we're going to click register. Done. Success. When we click next, we will now get the option to do the test cut, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that in another video. So watch out for that video. I'm actually going to create a playlist specifically for the Cricut Maker 3 and another one for the Cricut Explore 3 so that I can huddle all of those different um, um, uh, playlists and videos together. And the reason I don't want to test cut now is because I'm going to race this against my champagne maker because I want to see exactly how fast this machine is with the smart materials compared to the Cricut Maker on the mat. Now again, you can use mats with these machines. You can cut smart materials, your scraps, anything left over as well on the mat. Um, so no wastage at all. And uh, yeah, so we're going to skip this. It's going to say, you sure you want to skip it? And I'm just going to click OK. And then let's go back into design space. So thank you very much. If you've got any comments, make sure that you uh, let me know down below any questions and I'll answer those as soon as I can. I can tell you as well that on Sunday morning after you've probably maybe seen this video, um, so that's the 24th of May, I think, uh, Natalie from Cricket, Nat Natalie from Nat's Crafty Life will be in Cricket for Australia's Facebook group doing a live unboxing tomorrow. And we she'll be there answering all of your questions as well, but you'll be able to see that happening in real time. And uh, yeah, but again, hope you enjoyed this. See you on the next video. Take care. Bye.